Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt George Gurgel claims to be reborn after six weeks with the wizard Matt Hume. Tonight, he looks to display the new JG against Cole Miller. Georgia native Cole Miller notched impressive wins over Andy Wang and Leonard Garcia after his stay on The Ultimate Fighter, furthering his reputation as one of the lightweight division's up-and-comers. And though he hit a bump in the road in a hard-fought January loss to Jeremy Stevens, this Brazilian jiu-jitsu standout is more focused than ever as he gets set to face off against George Gurgel. My last fight with Jeremy Stevens was a little cold. Didn't have the killer instinct, but I got it back for this fight and tonight and show it against George Gurgel. Winner of three of his five UFC fights, George Gurgel's energetic style has made him a fan favorite. But it wasn't until his hard-fought decision win over John Halverson at UFC 82 in March that we got to see the real JG as he used all his talents to earn his most impressive victory yet inside the octagon. You're going to see uh, me going to Cole Miller, dismantling from head to toe. He's not going to last the 15 minutes where he expects me to get tired in the third round. There's going to be no third round. Coming up next, Cole Miller takes on George Gurgel. Spectacular standout baseball player who played collegiately all of a sudden said, you know what, I want to be a fighter. Not only did he want to be a fighter, he moved from Augusta, Georgia, down to Coconut Creek, Florida in 2006 to work with American Top Team. Cole Miller, 6'1", 155, has got all kinds of skills. All kinds of skills and you know, all kinds of potential. And training with American Top Team, you know, that is the best, in my opinion, the best team in the world to train under and maximize that potential. He was doing real well in the UFC until so his last fight with Jeremy Stevens, and as he said, he just he didn't feel like he had the killer instinct going into that fight. And Jeremy Stevens is no slouch, very very tough kid, and he wound up stopping Cole Miller with strikes in the second round. Uh, this is Cole's comeback fight, and uh, it's a tough one. George Gurgel is on a roll right now, and this is going to be an interesting fight. You know, as I said, former baseball player Miller said. Hey, I just had a bad night against Jeremy Stevens. I just had it. Roger Clemens can win the Cy Young, but one night he's going to get shelled. And in the in this sport, there's not as many opportunities, obviously. That's why it was so magnified. Yeah, there's no bad nights allowed in the UFC. Yeah, exactly. You can't have a, a bad game, you know, and then just play again next week and you'll be okay. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. There's months in between your outings, and there's so much preparation leading up to each individual event that there's an intense amount of pressure. On, on every performance and uh, sometimes fighters they get lax mentally or they get burnt out or you know they just they aren't aren't focused right due to personal problems or or who knows you know and he's a young guy you know at uh you know 24 years of age it's, it's very difficult to stay focused but i think he's a very intelligent kid and i think he learned from that mistake and i think he'll be focused and uh, much better tonight his nickname, Magrinho, is skinny. Means skinny in Portuguese. Oh, there you go. Cole Magrinho Miller set to face the Brazilian, George Gurgel. behind George Gurgel, Matt Hume. Behind Matt Hume, Rich Franklin. The reason why it's so important to talk about Matt Hume is because George Gurgel has about 13 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu academies. Tons of students, 50, 60 phone calls a day, and he tried to coach and be a fighter. He finally said, I gotta do something for myself. Left Cincinnati, left it in the hands of his assistant, went for six weeks to Seattle to work with who many consider the wizard, Matt Hume. Yeah, and that, that's an excellent point, Mike, and a really, really smart decision on George Gurgel's part. You cannot do something else and be a successful, especially top-level mixed martial arts fighter. It's a very singular pursuit. It requires you to train at least twice a day, 
training five days a week, and these guys are constantly exhausted, and they have to maintain focus, they have to get massages, they have to relax and rest, take naps, and then on top of that, work on their strategy, work on improving their technique, it's very difficult. George Gurgel has always been distracted by these schools, always been distracted by the fact that he's a successful businessman, as well as uh, a mixed martial arts competitor. And for this fight, he's just a fighter. His real dream is to be truly one of the best in the world. He'll try to take another step towards achieving that here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight, the Brazilian George Grugel, 31 years old, seven years the elder of Cole Miller. And it is George Grugel who will give up a definitive bit of reach to the tall Georgian Cole Miller. We'll find out if that is significant within this matchup. Once again, the official introductions from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins with three losses. Standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Cole Magrino Miller. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins with three losses. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, George J.G. Gurgel! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Loving. Eve Levine is our referee. George Gurgel, training in mixed martial arts for 16 years, starting with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, working on all facets ready, of the sport now. You ready? Fight. Cole Miller, George Gurgel, they touch, and here we go. Black trunks for Gurgel, blue and white trunks for Cole Miller. We've talked about it many times. We have uh, rarely seen the spectacular Jiu-Jitsu skills of this black belt. George Gurgel because nice he's so flexion. willing to try to entertain. Yeah, he's, uh, well, you know what? He, he's got really good stand-up. I mean, we saw him in the fight with Mark Hominick, and uh, he wound up losing a decision in that fight, but he kept Mark Hominick at bay and, you know, and, and stood with him and, and did very well. Gurgel so, said to me, decisions are considered subpar performances, so you know he's looking for a highlight reel type of finish tonight, be it a submission or a knockout. Well, he's very, very difficult on himself, or very, excuse me, very hard on himself. But, you know, when he was on The Ultimate Fighter, he was, people were afraid of his jiu-jitsu. Yeah. I mean, he was known as a very dangerous Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. But he's not the kind of guy that... Oh, oh big head, head kick. kick! Followed up by a combination! And, nice and a good kick. chop of the leg. His stand-up looks very good tonight. But like you said, it's, it's always been good. And working with Hume certainly helps. His best friend, also training partner, Rich Franklin, former middleweight champion. You know, Rich said he thought if he would have spent a little more time with Matt Hume, not guaranteeing that he would have beaten Anderson Silva, but he would have had a little bit better chance. He would have had a little bit better game plan going in. Gershel swings forward. Yeah, Matt Hume is an excellent tactician. He's a, a master of the game. Oh, good big right hand by, by Miller. Cole. Jab, Very jab. 1-1-2. Nice. One, one, oh, nice body kick. I like that. Miller worked that switch nicely. Yeah, Miller's stand-up looks nice. Gurgel, remember he had his jaw broken in that fight against Diego Saraiva. It was a victory, it was fight of the night, but he took a lot of damage he in the was, process. He kick was again. very unhappy with his performance in that fight because basically he, uh, he they, you know, he, he kind of made it a tough fight. You know, he stood in front of him and brawled with him and he didn't fight to his potential. Very Good nice leg kick. Leg kick. Gurgel's got that snap in the leg kick. His last fight over Halverson was the best fight uh, so far that we've seen from George Gurgel in, in the UFC. And the, uh, the fight where it really showed his potential. Nice right hand. Inside leg kick followed by the right hand. His stand-up looks outstanding. Set that up nice. Halfway through the first round, fight's good for three five-minute rounds. Another nice leg kick. Doing a good job of keeping Miller at bay with that little bit of a reach advantage. And, you know, he got a hold of that leg and didn't even think about taking Cole Miller to the ground. And he ate a right hand and a couple. 
And a nice knee. knee. George Grigel said for the first time in forever, I actually have a game plan. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and try to stick with it, which is something we always kind of joke about before, is that once the punches start flying, he forgets about the uh, the way that he wanted to come in, the way that he looked at the fight on paper. Well, you know, he nice right hand, he landed on Cole Miller. He wants to be entertaining, and uh, that's one of the reasons why he's adopted this stand-up fighting style, is because he believes that that's what people want to see. I mean, uh, he should have a definitive advantage in, in the ground game over Cole Miller, being a, a, a long-time black belt, Cole Miller being a purple belt. You would think that he would want to take the fight to the ground and choke him. Head kick again. But he's made zero attempts to do that and uh, is showing some very good stand-up. Oh, Combination nice Miller's in big trouble. Gershel comes forward. Got to watch the clinch, though. Cole Miller can throw those knees up. But he rocked him. There's the knee. Miller doing a good job of hanging on, trying to clear his head here, get his composure back. When George Grigel was on the Ultimate Fighter, the Ultimate Fighter 2, he was basically working on one leg. He was very banged up. Now he says he is physically as well as mentally better than he's ever been. Yeah, that shows what kind of heart George Grigel has. Here's a guy who climbed into the Ultimate Fighter, you know, a house filled with savages with one leg. Yep. His ACL was completely blown, and uh, he just taped it up when he fought. And as he was fighting, it blew out on him several times. He he's actually very fortunate that he didn't permanently yeah. damage his, his leg. But that's how bad he wants it. Miller comes forward. He's bleeding under the eye. Miller, as I mentioned, on Team Pulver in the Ultimate Fighter 5. Stopped in the quarterfinals by Joe Lozon. They're right in front of us here. George Gurgel's got, got a body lock. Pressing him up against the cage. They'll get, get free into the middle of the octagon. Miller did a good job of withstanding. Good stuff. Here's George Gurgel with a nice left hook and a grazing right hand. Cole Miller gets staggered, tries a flying knee afterwards, and Cole Miller did a real good job of keeping his composure. But you see the right hand and the left hook afterwards, they, uh, they rocked him. I just had a little best one in earlier. When, when you get close, when you get close, you gotta watch that overhand, either in the clinch yeah. or find your distance. There's his brother Micah you were talking about. So I want you to work him once well. You do good once well. After he's after he's part of you gotta move. When he comes in, that's where you're really catching him with the low kick too. When he comes in with that jab. Okay. Stepping okay. big. You can whenever he comes in, you can counter with that low kick. You can counter with your overhand when he comes in. Okay. And you let him come to you. When you're chasing him, you gotta go up and then down. Okay. Set up your nine with the jab. George Grigel said for a long time he tried to model himself after Henzo Gracie. Lots of schools and be a fighter. So we talked about this time he's just been a fighter in preparation for this matchup. Fight. Here we go, second round. Grigel and Miller. Cole Miller's taking some damage on that front leg from the big leg kicks of George Grigel. Inside. Oh, nice right hand. A couple Great nice shots. Line. George got rocked. The jab, jab, and cross has worked for Miller. He tried it right there. He's got great reach. And he's throwing some nice straight punches. Yep. The double jab keeps his opponent at bay, keeps him away, and then boom, he follows with the right. Coming in with a leg kick again. No thoughts of a ground game for either man here, Joe. Happy to exchange. Yeah, it's it's amazing. The guy as talented as Gurgel on the ground never shows it. I mean, he thinks that uh, people want to see uh, exciting fights, so he decides to stand. But I think people like to see exciting submissions as well. I would like to see uh, him show some more of those skills. Well, ironically, the best display of his ground game was in his loss to Alvin Robinson. He was great in the first round against Robinson, then couldn't oh. finish. He ate a right hand there by Miller. Miller, just 24 years old, as I mentioned, recently completed a half Ironman triathlon, which 
For our guys, that's not surprising, though. Some of the greatest and best-conditioned athletes in the world. Finish with the left. Yeah, that's like a light training day. Yeah, exactly. Train three times a day. I'll swim, I'll bike, and I'll run. Oh, good left. Miller's taking a few. There oh, we go. That. Finally. Now we're going to see. Elbows from Churchill. the bottom. That may very well be that Miller got a little bit tired of losing the battle on the feet, and he was behind on the scorecard. Nice right hand to the top by Miller. Yep, he's extending. He's posturing up. He's raining down punches on George Kurzel. This is an excellent game plan by Cole Miller. Utilize the reach not only on the feet, but also on the ground. He gets that long body up, Joe, and boom. Yeah, absolutely. Very difficult to reach him, to grab him, to pull his posture down. When he postures up and stands up and drops bombs down, and this has always been George Gurgel's weakness, is uh, in, in a lot of his fights, he's gotten caught in the guard and been punched on. I mean, it's very difficult to pass his guard because he is an excellent Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He got hit there but on the way when, down. But when you're in his guard, you can do damage to him. Now, look at this. Cole Miller passed. He's got side control here. No, he's got half guard. Eight One of leg Cole Miller's 13 wins, Joe, have come by submission. Three by guillotine, three by triangle, one by an armbar, one by a rear naked. So he's got some finishing skills. Cole's trying to get that leg out. He's trying to pry his left leg out from in between George's two legs. He's looking to threaten on the left side with the Kimura to try to get him distracted so he can get his, his leg out. At this point, he is not absorbing the punishment that we saw early from Miller, still trying to get oh, position. Reversal, but he's got a guillotine. Lots of time, one minute remains in the round. It doesn't look like George's head is trapped in there, though, and, he's and it out. wasn't. Now and George now Gershel swings away. We'll see Cole Miller's guard here. Cole Miller's got those long limbs. George Gurgel showing an excellent top game here. He's hanging on to this over-under. He hits him with a knee, and Miller gets to his feet. Nice! <laughs> 30 seconds remains in the second round. Good Straight right. right. Very tough round to score. Superman punch, swinging away again. And there's a takedown for George Grigel. That could earn him the round. <laughs> we'll head to the third. Rich Franklin. George Grigel's best friend in his corner again tonight. In fact, they're pretty much inseparable when you talk about the fight game. And Matt Hume, Stitch, attending to George Grigel. Nice takedown here by Cole Miller. And you see he holds on to George Grigel's leg, gets to George Grigel's guard, and lands some pretty good strikes from this position. Here he lands over and over again, lands that right hand. And again, that in the past has been a weak spot for George Grigel. Guys delivering punishment to him while they're in his guard. You gotta take the arm. He tried to go to the back before he took the arm. You gotta take the arm and pull it forward before you go to the back, okay? Let's do it. Let's take him down. Inside low kicks, take him down. Gurgel had earned nine straight submission wins prior to his UFC debut. And Joe, you pointed out earlier, he's always his own worst critic. He plans on being very proud of his performance tonight. Ariani, Edith. Gurgel and Miller, third and final round. Yeah, George Gurgel is very, very critical of his performances. Gets, really gets down on himself. And, you know, I think it's because he realizes his potential and he realizes that he's not living up to it because of the fact that he's been, in the past, so distracted. He loves this sport. He loves his game. Absolutely does. And is one of the most game competitors in the, in the sport. Oh! Boom! 
Again, he tried to utilize the left hand. And he saw, you know, his best friend excel at the highest level for a long time with Rich Franklin. He also sees his uh, pupil rising star, Dustin uh, Hazlitt. How good is he? Man, you want to talk about some crazy jujitsu. And another leg kick nice by leg George Grizel. Good exchange. Who will get the better of this? There it is again, that clinch. Oh, oh caught him he that hit time. That one. Yep, he pulled the head down that time. Had the leverage and they met. Gershel is oh. putting tremendous combinations together. Five, six, seven punch combinations. Head oh, kick. He looked oh, down. he faked it. Looked down and then kicked up. He yep. faked him out. Very nice. Another takedown. This fight would seem to belong to George Gurgel on the scorecards. I'm sure he and Cole Miller would rather not right. take that chance. He's going to pass now. He's going to pass the side control. He's got his back. Cole Miller turtles up here very well. He did before, and he used it to stand up, and he's done it again. A lot of mutual respect between these two men, and you can see why. I'm kind of surprised that Gurgel didn't decide to go to an over-under and take his back from there. Sweeps the leg. You heard George Grizel talk about conditioning. Before he entered the octagon, he said, I won't be tired in the third round. Both these men in superior condition here. George is trying to pass here, trying to throw the legs to the side and move in to get side control. Caught a little bit of an up kick, now Miller is up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised that he doesn't try to control the ground game more. I mean, he had Cole Miller on his back there, that's an excellent position. Gurgel, including tonight, has now fought Ultimate Fighter competitors from season two in Jason Von Flew, season three in Danny Abadi, and now season five's Cole Miller. Gurgel and Miller swinging away. 90 seconds remains. See, this is the kind of fight that I hate to see George Gurgel in. I hate to see him just exchanging, just standing, you know, direct Diego Saraiva style, like in that fight where he just stands yeah. in front of the guy and throws bombs and just tries to be tough. Win a fight, break your jaw. There he goes. Takes him down. It's going to be very hard to submit George Gurgel. No, he's not going to catch him. His arm's nowhere near in there. He's in half guard now, sliding to the side, trying to force Cole Miller to flatten out so he can pass. Now Cole pulls it back to full guard. He's not controlling. It's a triangle attempt here by Cole Miller. He sinks it in. It's going to be very difficult, but does up. he have well, it? He's got it locked up, Mike. Can this he is finish bad. it? He's got to pull the head. Can he do it? Seconds here. remains. Gurgel trying to survive. Eve Levine is looking very carefully. If at he him. survives, He's he may get the decision. The now. 20 seconds remains. He's in deep, deep trouble. 15 seconds. He's it's all over. George Gurgel tapped out. Cole Miller wow. is the victor. Man. A critical effort. By George Gurgel in attempting to pass the guard, left an arm in. Cole Miller capitalized on it. Outstanding. And look at this crowd go nuts. People love submissions. An exciting fight doesn't have to be two guys punching each other in the head. Let's take a look at that again, man.
There you see, he's got a hold of the arm, and what happened is George Gurgel just got sloppy in there while he was inside Cole Miller's guard. He left an arm in there. Cole with those long legs, locks in that triangle. He's pulling down the head, and they rolled from this position several times. See, he's got him in here. Now he turns it into a mounted triangle. Now he's putting all his weight down on George. George turns sideways. He tightens it up even more, actually. They roll over back to his back. He hangs on to it. Cole Miller keeps the triangle, and eventually George is forced to tap. Take another look at it. What a job done by Cole Miller. I mean, this is so impressive, Mike, because it's not just submitting a guy. He's submitting a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt who's never been submitted like this before in the UFC. I mean, this is a huge feather in Cole Miller's cap here. Well, Cole Miller had belief in himself. I mentioned he's been working with Ricardo Laborio, American top team, and he is the victor. Spectacular finish. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Cole Magrino Miller. He very well could have been 12 seconds away from losing a decision to George Gurgel. Miller, in spectacular fashion, pulls out the victory. Great fight. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Cole Miller. Cole, very entertaining fight. You've always shown some real good jiu-jitsu in the past. That's got to be the best submission you've ever pulled off. Not bad for a purple belt. That's ATT jiu-jitsu for you. I'm not just some guy from, some redneck from Georgia. I train an American top team, and that's what we put out. Well, out outstanding. Now, he was trying to pass your guard. He left an arm in there. Talk us through it here. Yeah, you know, I saw it. I was, uh, man, really the difference is training in the gi. You saw me go to that position, it was a spider guard position, and everybody says, oh, that's just for Gi. It's jiu-jitsu. You can make anything work if you believe in yourself. Well, congratulations on an outstanding performance. Fantastic submission. Hey, thanks to everybody that back home in Georgia that supports me, my American Top Team family, and George. I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. Love your style. Love you, man. You'll be back, buddy. Cole Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Pure class, both Cole Miller and George Gurgel. Gurgel had a chance to try to finish it. He had rocked Cole Miller. He survives and perseveres at 448 of the third round, winning by submission.